hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, this is another video on topical questions uh, in this video we will do questions related to geometry some students they requested to do that so let me try as many questions as i can do so this will give you complete revision on checkpoint uh, geometry questions so let's start so the first question that i have here the grid shows the straight line with equation 2x plus y equals to 12. Uh, so, so this is a straight line of this given equation. Uh, a different equation is y equals to 2x plus 2. Complete the table of values for uh, this equation. So we have uh, given the values of x here. Then we will find out the values of y. Now you see we have y is equal to 2x plus 2, right? So y is 2x plus 2, this is the equation, x0, y is 2, it's given. Now when x is 2, then y is going to be 2 times 2 plus 2. You are just going to replace x by uh, the given value. 2 times 2, 4, 4 plus 2, it is 6. So this is going to be 6, right? Next, when x is 4, then y is going to be 2 times 4 plus 2, 2 times 4 plus 2. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2 it is 10. So this is going to be 10. Uh, the third one we have here uh, when x is 6 then y is going to be 2 times 6 plus 2. This is 12. 12 plus 2 it is 14. So this one is 14. So you have done uh, for one mark. Now draw the line y equals to 2x plus 2. This is y equals to 2 plus x2 and these are the values right so we are going to plot these one by one x0 y2 x0 y2 is here and then x2 y6 x2 is here go along that line y6 is here uh, x4 y10 x4 and y10 go along the same line y10 here you see y is 10 this side then x6 and y14 x6 and y14 on the same line right so this one is done this is done now write down the sample i'm sorry write down the solution of the simultaneous equations so we are not actually solving it so we have given the graph of this 2x plus y equals to 12 here and y equals to 2x plus 2 uh, is the line that we have just done now so what we will do to find out the solution we are going to draw a line for these points then we will see where do they intersect each other so then we are going to get that particular value right so draw it carefully so now this is the line uh, graph of line y is equal to 2x plus 2 right now to find out the solution we need the value of x and y so that means we will take the intersecting point so this is the intersecting point here go down here this is value of x this is between 2 and 3 so this is 2.5 so x is 2.5 right and y is this side it's in the middle of 6 and 7 uh, sorry 6 and 8 so that is 7 6 7 8 so y is going to be 7 so that's it so we have done three marks we have collected three marks by doing this on the graph now next question the diagram shows pentagon a b c d e so you can see this is a pentagon here now explain uh, sorry angle e a b is 118 this is given to us explain how you can tell from the size of this angle that pentagon is not regular now what is regular pentagon regular pentagon is like when you have all the sides equal so not regular means all the sides are not equal so when the pentagon is regular so size of the angle should be same right so now here we have five angles right so if one is 118 so that means if it is a regular pentagon then we should have the uh, we should have this uh, uh, sum of the angles 118 times 5 
so this is 590 now let's see how much actually it should be like see you have these three triangles here so every triangle add up to 180 right so then that means the total of the angle should be 180 times 3 so that means 540 so if it's a regular so then that means it should have 540 uh, sum of the angles but now the angle is 590 so this is not a regular uh, pentagon so how will you explain this explain how you can tell from the size of the angle so we can write down this here because sum of angles is 590 whether it should be 540 for a regular pentagon right because sum of angles is 590 whether it should be 540 for a regular pentagon right before we do next question i request you guys to subscribe to my channel if you are getting benefit from my videos and press the like button if you like the content and the video and suggestions are welcome to improve for the next time so next question is a trapezium is made up of triangles so you can see we have three triangles here uh, triangle a b e a b e and b c e this is b c e are right angle triangles that means one angle is 90 triangle c d e and b c e c d e and b c e these two are isosceles triangles that means like their sides two sides are equal you can see this is marked this means this is equal to this side and these two marks will show that these two e b and e d and e c are equal and it's given here also now a e is three centimeter this one is three centimeter e b is four this one is four now we have to work out everything work out the length of a d so we are going to find out this length a to d so for that we have a e but we need to find out e d right so we will start with the given things now this one is four right so because this is an isosceles triangle this mark shows that this side is equal to this one so if this is four this is also four right so now this is a right angle triangle so right angle triangle we can apply pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square right base is this one which is 4 squared height is again 4 squared so this is 16 plus 16 now this is 32 then hypotenuse is uh, it's a square so we do square root on both sides so this we can write it down as let me just calculate this one sorry so square root of 32 it's 5.65 so this is 5.65 so we can write it down as 5.7 centimeters right this square root and this will cancel so hypotenuse hypotenuse is this one right so that is ec so we got ec 5.7 centimeter now if this is 5.7 centimeter so now this triangle is also isosceles triangle so this side is equal to this one this is 5.7 centimeter right so now we are looking for the length of ad so ad is ae plus ed right so ae is given to us that is 3 centimeters and ed is 5.7 centimeter so 3 plus 5.7 it's 8.7 centimeter so this is our answer 8.7 centimeters
Now another question here we have trapezium A B C D is shown on the grid. A B C D this is on the grid here. E is midpoint on line A B. So this is line A B and E is a midpoint. Angle A E D is 90. Mark E on the grid with cross. So E is midpoint of A B. So this is A B. Okay, and midpoint. You see how many squares we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, that means this angle, this point will be, uh, it should be angle, it should be this uh, point E. Sorry, sorry guys, I am reading this wrong. E is point on the line, not a midpoint. We are not given midpoint. E is a point on the line randomly anywhere. Uh, angle AED is 90. So mark E on the grid. So we are not taking the midpoint here. So D is here. So AED. So this line should go here. Right. So then this angle will be 90. But the question is mark E on the grid with cross. So this is our point E. Right. One mark question. Another question here. Uh, num just, just one mark but looks tricky let's see the diagram shows trapezium a b c d so we have this a b c d here uh, a b c d is enlarged so this shape is enlarged from some other shape so let's say the shape previously was like this so this is the enlarged shape right the center of the enlargement is b and the scale factor is 3 so this shape is times 3 this one right the length of the longest side of the enlargement of a b c d is so now when you enlarge the shape so its lengths get multiplied by 3 right so this is the 24 the longest is 24 you see this is 15 10 13 and 24 so this is the longest one so that means this was times 3 so something uh, 24 is equal to like something times 3. So what is that something? That is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So that was actually originally 8 centimeter, right? Now the size of the smallest angle of the enlargement. Now uh, you know that when we enlarge the shape only the sides change but angles remain the same. The, so the smallest angle here is 53. So it will remain the same. So there is no change in the angle always remember that i'm repeating whenever you enlarge the shape the size will change but the angles will remain same right another question uh, complete the diagram i'm uh, sorry complete the table of values for y equals to 2x plus 3 we just did a similar question before but let's complete this one also uh, so we have y equals to 2x plus 3 right so x is 1 when x is 1 so when x is 1 y is going to be 2 times 1 plus 3 2 times 1 is 2 2 plus 3 it is 5 right so when it is 3 uh, when x is plus 3 3 times 2 6 6 plus 3 it is 9 okay now when y is 4 uh, sorry x is 4 then y is 2 times 4 plus 3. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 it is 11. So done. So by doing this you can get one mark. Now draw the graph. So now we will plot this. I think you should do it with me. Uh, x is 0. Y is 3. It's here. Then x is 1. Y is 5. X 1 Y 5. Then we have x 2 Y 7. X 2 Y 7 here. Then x3 y is 9, x4 y is 11. Okay, so now we will join all these points like this with the ruler. Use ruler please. Now make sure that all your points are coming on one line. If it's any of the point is not coming in the line, so that means you are doing something wrong, then you need to check your calculations again.
Here is another question. The diagram shows a straight line crossing two parallel lines. So here are two parallel lines. They are shown with the arrows here. Uh, there are no right angles in the diagram. There is no right angle. Tick to show if each of the statements are true or false. Now, angle A is same size as angle E. Angle A is here and angle E is here. So, if you see, it's making F shape, right? Like this. You can see the F shape here. So, that means these angles are corresponding. So, F shape is like this. So, we have this angle. So, they are corresponding and then that means they are equal. So, it is true. Next, angle C is of the same size as angle H. Angle C is here. Angle C is here and angle H is here. So this actually is not making F shape, not a Z shape. So they are not equal, right? So this is false. Angle A and F are alternate angles. Angle A and F. Let me differentiate with color. Angle A. A is here and F. F is here. So A and F, they are co-interior, they, they are making C shape here, co-interior but they are not alternate. Alternate are like A and G are alternate, like if they make Z shape. So like alternate angles are like this, these are alternate angles. But they are not so, this is also not true. So it is false. Another question, this is, looks interesting. So we have here, the diagram shows a regular pentagon and a regular hexagon. So we have this pentagon here and this is hexagon here. A, B, E are vertices of a pentagon, A, B, E, and C, D, E are vertices of hexagon. This is hexagon here. Uh, a, B, C, D is a straight line. So this is a straight line. So calculate the size of angle B, E, C. We are looking for this angle. So now for this pentagon, we have triangles here, three triangles. So 180, 180, 180. So that means sum of the angles of uh, this pentagon will be 180 times 3, which is 540, right? So 540 is sum of the angles. So one angle... is going to be 540 divided by 5. So, 540 divided by 5 should be 108. This is 108. So, one of the angles. So, this angle is 108, right? Now, similarly, for the hexagon, we have 4 triangles here so that means 180 times 4 that is 720 is sum of the angles of a pentagon right so one angle of a hexagon will be 720 divided by 6 because there are 6 angles so that is 120 degrees so this angle is going to be 120 so that means all these are 120 and here all these are 108 so now, because ABCD is a straight line, we got this angle. This angle is 120. So the angle add up to 180. So if this is 120, so this is going to be 60. You got it? Now, if this is 108, then 180 minus 108. 180 minus 108. This is 72. So this angle is going to be 70. Now, so we are done half with half of the uh, our work. So this is a triangle, right? So in triangle BEC, sum of the angles of triangle that means 72 plus 60 plus angle BEC is equal to 180 because sum of the angles of triangle add up to 180. So this is 2, 132 plus angle. This is symbol of angle. BEC is 180. So angle BEC is going to be 180 minus 132. So 180 
minus 132 is 48 degrees. So this is our required angle 48 degrees. Right? This is a bit tricky but go slowly then you will learn. You will reach to the correct answer. Another question. Uh, here is a grid. You can see the grid here. Uh, we have x axis this way and we have y axis along this side. A point is given B C. Point, plot point A B C on the grid. A is 1 and negative 1. 1 and negative 1. So x1 y negative 1 it's here. B is negative 5 and negative 2. x negative 5 x negative 5 and y negative 2. It's here, right? Then done this one. This is A. This one is B. And C is uh, negative 3, 2. Negative 3 and positive 2. Negative 3 and positive 2. It's here, right? Now, uh, the first part is done. Second, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Find the coordinates of point D. So, let me first join this so that you can see the clear picture. So, if we join this one here. Now, the parallelogram is having like the opposite side. It's the, like this. Say. This line is parallel to these two parallel and this is opposite sides are equal and parallel. So, now we need to have another uh, what is somewhere here this side to make this parallel. So, now what we can do like you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We move 6 right hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right hand side and then from here 1 up, 1 up. So that means our, uh, let me do it again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 1 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry, 6 and 1 is here. So this D point is coming here. So let me join this so that let's confirm if it looks like a parallelogram so now d point we need the coordinates of d 3 and 3 you see x is 3 y is 3 so this is 3 and 3 so you see this looks like a parallelogram a b this was point c Here is another question. Uh, write the letter of each shape in the correct position in the table. So we have a table here, right? You see this one and we have the shapes here. A, B, C, D. These are the names of the shape. One has been done for you. Uh, so which one is done here? You can see D is placed here. So D is done. So it may be used twice. So we have to look. Now, the property has, it has parallel side, the shape has parallel side and what should come here in this way, has at least one right angle. So, right angle is here in A and B, right, but uh, it should also have a parallel side. So, there is no parallel side in B, so A will come here, right. Now, next has no, par it has at least one right angle and has no parallel side. So, one right angle is here, no parallel side, so that means B is going to be here. Now, next one, it has no right angle, there is no right angle in these two, uh, has no parallel side. It has, D has parallel side, but this doesn't have any parallel side, so this is C. This is a triangular prism, so you can see... So this triangular prism you are given the sides here 2, 3, 4, 5 like this and uh, this is a net of the prism. It is drawn on centimeter square paper right. Work out the surface area of the prism. So surface area of the prism you need to count the number of squares. We will count the full number of squares then more than half. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्स सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी थर्टी वन थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री सो थर्टी थ्री वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट द कम्प्लीट स्क्वायर देन थर्टी थ्री दिस एंड दिस वी कैन कंसिडर इट एज थर्टी फोर एंड दिस एंड दिस इज थर्टी फाइव एंड दिस एंड दिस इज थर्टी सिक्स सो वी कैन से दैट सरफेस एरिया इज थर्टी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर so we have this question here uh, here are some words that describe parts of a circle radius chord diameter and arc right so now i uh, use these words to label the circle parts shown in this diagram so what is this this is a line that passing through center and it's touching both sides right so this is a diameter and this one is touching the circle passing through the circle uh, center and half of that it is this is the diameter is done then this is radius and this one this one is a chord chord is a line that pass and uh, that touches circle at two uh, points but does not pass through the center right and this one is arc okay Uh, here is this question the shape drawn in the and uh, on the triangular grid complete the missing number uh, numbers number of line of symmetry now line of symmetry it will have like three line of symmetry right so it's very simple and order of rotational symmetry it's also like uh, same from all side when you rotate it to 360 you're going to get same number uh, same shape so the order of rotational symmetry is also Three. So that's it for the geometry section. So I hope you guys understood everything. So this is a revision. I took different different questions from geometry. So I hope you liked it. If you liked it, press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you.